I'm Daniel, Daniel van Ness. I'm from Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Okay. Um, I'm obviously an artist uh, and I make uh, engravings. Okay. Uh, that's the, the main thing I'm doing right now. Uh, I engrave in, in plexiglass and I make, uh, I make them light up. So um, sometimes I frame them, I put them in bell jars, like antique bell jars. Um, and uh, well, basically, I make quite dark art, but it's illuminated. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> How did you come upon the process? Why do you do the illuminated etchings? Um, I used to study old graphic techniques. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I came across uh, wood engraving, that was something that really uh, got to me. So I started doing that, and that's what I did for, uh, for the final part of my studying years um, and I went I continued doing that um, and then I came well some somehow it popped into my head well maybe I should try uh, different materials so right. I started experimenting with uh, with like uh, polystyrene and, and other stuff like you have linoleum mm -hmm. but that's too, too coarse, so okay. it's brittle, uh, you can, can't do real fine lines, and then some plastics are better for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I came across, well maybe I should try something transparent and, and, and use that and make it, see what, what, what the effect is. Okay. So then I made it, I came on the idea of lighting it. And How long have you been doing that? Uh, for a couple of years now. Um, I've been doing it for serious, serious art use uh, for for I think two years now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, how did you get to be? How did you become part of the Strychnine family? Um, well, basically, I, I was uh, I've been looking for galleries for a long time, so I've had this whole hunt behind me, and I was kind of disappointed in in the whole art world as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, and I, uh, I heard of this uh, show of Liz McGrath in okay. Berlin, and I thought, well, I have, I have to see that because it was the only show she would have in Europe or even close to, to where I live. So I, I just had to go. So and then um, I contacted the gallery uh, because I was uh, quite interested in maybe trying to buy something of her. So that's how the, the contact started, awesome. and I thought, well, the, the gallery seemed really interesting to me because it was, I've been making dark artwork, right, like right. surreal and stuff, uh, and there were no galleries that I knew that were like this close to what I do, right. so I thought maybe I should take some work with me and then just show it. And then so why, why are you drawn to dark imagery? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, if I only knew. Yeah. Uh, it's just I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's, it's just it's it's just there. I'm always drawn to the to the to, to the quirky right. weird stuff and the darker things and it's just it's always just kind of been there. So. Well, who are some of your influences? Um. Well. Uh, some of the some of the lowbrow artists, obviously, um, the surreal. Um, I, th I, th I find it difficult to to name just one artist because it's just a continuous stream of, of images and, and names and, and things that also come from from uh, from the daily life. Right. So it's uh, but in engraving it's like uh, Dürer. Okay, yeah, like sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, Doré, those are <laughs> the, important, the important guys, but I, 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 I try to look as little as possible to, to what they really do. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's basically for, for techniques that I check them out. Right. Uh, but I really want to, to make sure I, what I do is really me. Yeah, okay. And not too much. And it's, it's, you can't avoid everything you do being a mix of yeah, right. what you see. So, so how would you describe your style? Um, I had this great name made up, but it's, 
I think it's like a kind of high resolution uh, escapism. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, if if you can say that's a style. Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so. The idea is to sort of vibrant colors to bring it out. Ideas of going somewhere else, being escapism, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Escaping to a different world or different dimension or whatever. It's like uh, maybe looking into your subconscious and, and see what, what what happens there. Uh, maybe a reaction to 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 daily life. Mm -hmm. uh, so you still live in Rotterdam? I live in Rotterdam. Yeah, yeah. How's that? Uh, that's nice because it's it's a I think it's a very lively city. Mm -hmm. uh, it's had it's uh, it's had, it, it's had its share of misery in in the Second World War. Yeah, right. Yeah. And they're really building up, still building up, and now there's a new kind of layer of modern architecture and, and new yeah. culture. It's a very new-looking city for Europe, anyway. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And they're really building hard. I think within within the next ten years, it's going to be totally different. Okay. From, okay. from what it's now, and it's it's really alive. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Good art scene. Um, yeah, there is an art scene, but I'm not really part of the okay. art scene there. Yeah, right. what, I, what I said before, there are not many galleries. In, in the Netherlands that are really attractive to me. Uh, there are some, but I just I just can't can't see my to find my way into into, into that world. So I'm I'm okay. guessing. Right. Okay.